Hi, my name is Lindsay Wyrick, and today I'm going to show you how to use Derwin ink tense blocks and glue to create a batik like fabric. This project is so fun, and since you don't have to use hot wax, it's appropriate for all age groups. We're going to start off by taking a piece of wax paper and placing it over a piece of cardboard or foam core. And then we're going to set a piece of white cotton fabric on top of that. I like to use white cotton muslin or quilters fabric for this. Now, this fabric in wax paper is translucent, so if you would like to work from a template, you could always do a drawing on just plain old white paper with a black marker and put it between the wax paper and your cardboard if you wanted to be able to have something to see as you go by on this project. I'm just going to freehand it though. What you want to do now is clip all these pieces together. So I'm just wrapping that wax paper around the foam core and securing the fabric wax paper and cardboard or foam core all together with these clips. You can use any clips you have. Close pins work really well and they're very affordable. Now now you'll want to draw your design right on the fabric using a squeeze bottle of glue. You can either buy your glue in a squeeze bottle or you can get your glue in bulk and fill up squeeze bottles. It doesn't really matter. I'm starting off with a circular design and then I'm going to work out from there creating kind of like a mandala. So my trick for keeping this symmetrical and lined up is to kind of put petals out from the circle kind of like points on a compass and that will keep my image symmetrical. Keep in mind you can draw anything you want on this fabric. Fabric. It doesn't have to be a mandala design. Be creative, take your time, and really have fun with this because um, everything you draw with the glue is going to end up being the white area on your dyed design. After the glue is completely dry, you want to wet down the fabric. Now you can keep working on that wax paper if it feels like it's still holding up pretty well, or you can work on a silicone mat or a piece of plastic like a garbage bag. You just really want to saturate that fabric so the Derwent ink tents can really sink in and grab hold. Then you want to grab the Derwent ink tent sticks and start coloring in your design. The white glue that you apply that is now dry is actually creating a nice barrier on the fabric, so you don't have to worry about your colors bleeding too much unless you want to. And you can overlap colors to make new colors. You can um, always manipulate them a little bit later with a brush. And you can really color your fabric however you want using as many or as few colors as you like. The Derwent Ink Tents will blend and mix really well, so you don't be afraid to experiment. You've got those white lines that are going to be keeping your design safe. So you can really have fun with the coloring. To get more solid and even coverage, I'm using a flat Derwent water brush to spread and blend my colors together. Just give it a little squeeze here and then to release some water and that's going to help activate those colors and spread them around a little bit better and it also helps remove some of the pigment that's just kind of sitting there on top of the glue. To remove any leftover ink on top of the glue, I simply spritzed my fabric and just blotted it with a paper towel. If you want a more modeled look, you can actually pounce the paper towel all around and transfer color here and there to give it a more marbleized or tie-dyed look, but that's totally up to you. And here's a look at the finished fabric, all nice and dry and ready for you to hang up on the wall as a decoration or use in your next craft project. Keep in mind your colors will dry a little bit lighter, just like if you're painting on paper, so you'll want to account for that when you apply your Derwent Ink Tense blocks to the fabric. I want to thank you so much for watching today. You can find a list of all the Derwent products I used in the video description. Please give me a thumbs up before you go. Until next time, happy crafting!